mandolin out ah. <laughs> so here's the good news everybody no blood will be spilled <laughs> because i'm done with my mandolining and i'm gonna put it to the side now because and uh, here's me yelling from here you use use the guard use the guard i almost took my thumb off <laughs> i know i did it without the guard never do I that wait with it <laughs> never do that. Never, never. Oh my God. That was the, know, one of the worst know, cuts I've ever had. Oh. I know. It's the worst. I know. I know. Just, <laughs> you can't. It's like you waste the last bit of apple. And then Here's me. Like, Use the knife. Use the knife on the last bit. <laughs> or just eat the last half of it. <laughs> just eat it. Give it to the dog. You know, you don't have to waste it. I know, I know. Well, this is going to be really yum because, um, so I want to give credit to um, the inspiration with, uh, I follow on Instagram, um, Chef Stuart O'Keefe. I think he's Irish. He's hilarious and he's a great, he's a French tra trained chef and he just, he just makes a lot of comfort food that I like. So. <laughs> and did he, he have this different. on his Instagram? He's on Instagram. No, this recipe was on Instagram. Um, they he had his version of it, and I got inspired by it, so I wanted to try it and make my own. Out okay, of it. so why but did I'm gonna call it invisible? Credit. I'm gonna give him some credit. Um, <laughs> it's cool if you've ever made the invisible cake. Do people know about the invisible, the gâteau invisible? It's a it's a French <laughs> deal. It's like really what it is is it turns into like this um custardy around hidden apples and a little bit of cake and it's very low in sugar and it's so yummy it's ridiculous okay i can't wait oh you're gonna love this you're, <laughs> i can't believe i hadn't made this on the show you know we keep scraping the bottom of the barrel for more things to make that we know so we have to branch out because you know, I think we've done everything we can i know do we've everything. made so much food <laughs> i know which i want to thank you again for my beautiful oh polish mug christmas present i love these if anybody um, what i'm just all full of plugs today um, <laughs> i know i love the polish mugs <laughs> from the polish ceramic place what's the name of it it's um, um the name of it? poly something po poly pottery i think it's called poland ceramic i don't know but they're so gorgeous and beautiful i love them they're heavy they're just an amazing it's an amazing yeah mug. i love them they're so pretty they're beautiful, exactly. And having tea I know. right now at six o'clock, that ought to tell you something. <laughs> yep. Yes, we have. We've done it all, but we keep finding new things. So I can't wait for this cake. Okay. So the good news is I prepped a lot, so you don't have to watch me peel apples, which is like watching paint dry. And hopefully, we can have a good conversation and not have to watch. Yes. Watch me Apples. Well, we can but, talk about uh, your great shirt. Yes. Thank you. Right? Yeah. Right? Okay. Um, so, uh, basically, it is so easy to make. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is uh, preheat the oven to 350, which I okay. have done. Then, <laughs> I took a um, 
piece of parchment and I just, you know, winged it to line my uh, bread uh, ceramic thing, pan. Okay. Okay. Plastic loaf pan. Um, and it could be metal. I'm just, I'm using the ceramic one. Um, and the next mm -hmm. thing you want to do is mix your dry ingredients together. And the dry ingredients for this is the following. Um, three quarters of a cup of all-purpose flour. This is interesting. Two thirds a cup powdered sugar. Um, one teaspoon cinnamon, one teaspoon baking powder, half a teaspoon salt. That's it. And what wow. you do you do? You it together, right? Yeah. Um, so I already did that. Like normally all of my instincts go apples, brown sugar, apples, brown sugar. But yeah, yeah. I'm doing the powdered sugar. I'm just going to see, but it's only two thirds of a cup. So it's very little sugar. Then the next thing that you want to prep is um, your sliced apples. And I have all these beautiful apples because I bought some and then Morse bought some and we had an abundance of apples and I wanted to use them. But anyway, these are beautiful organic honey crisp apples. Oh um, God, my favorite is honey crisp. And I mandolin them to be of even, you know, I, I did yeah. three apples because they are gigantic, they're large, you know, um, but if they, but it's, you know, it's, you want about four, four. Are they really apples. thin These slices? They're oh. very thin slices. Okay. They're very like thin. Look how thin this is. Thin. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's there for the mandolin, right? And I put mm -hmm. a little bit of lemon juice on here to just, mm -hmm. you know, keep them from um, browning. And um, I'm going to save some that is the width of the bread loaf pan to put on the top, you know, okay. to, car yeah, to caramelize to the top, but everything yeah. else is going to go in the batter. Okay. Okay. All right. So something different that I'm going to do, because I think this would be tasty, is I'm going to take um, a couple of tablespoons of, oh, look what this is, our ginger cinnamon sugar. <laughs> yeah, um, well, ooh, look what Lisa's kitchen. Out. <laughs> this just happened to be hanging around. Available only at hollyshomegrown.com. Anyway, this is such a, you know, level upper of things. So I'm going to do that. Um, I'm going to do two tablespoons. I'm just going to put it in my apples because I just, you know, I don't know. I'm this apple pie freak and I have my thing about sugar in the apples. And so I'm just going to do two tablespoons and I'm going to mix it around. Okay. So the sugar, our sugars are also great, you know, for this kind of cooking, but also, you know, they're so good in, in coffee, I have to say. <laughs> oh, my God. Coffee and let us, lest we forget, cocktails and mocktails, you know? Yeah. <laughs> mm, it's just a great, great flavor. Okay, the other thing I did to prep was in the liquid portion of the recipe, what do we always like to do? Okay, I decided I was going to make the regular milk buttermilk. So uh -huh. it's two-thirds of a cup of milk. And I put, you know, a tablespoon of uh, lemon juice in there. It's been sitting for about five minutes. It's going to be oh, a look. Very Somebody has delicious. the sugar with cardamom. I can't see who it is, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so I have my little homemade buttermilk. Now I'm going to tell you, now we're going to do put the liquids together. So this is so easy. It's just, um, you know, whipping up basically an egg custard and you're going to add the apples and then you're going to bake it. No big wow. deal. Yum. So easy, so easy and it, it will taste buttery and amazing. Um, okay, so I what did have, you do to change it up other than adding our sugar to it? <laughs> so what I've done is I'm doing buttermilk instead of regular milk. Okay. Um, I'm also, um, what I'm doing is, uh, what am I doing that's different? I, well, adding the ginger sugar, which is not mm -hmm. part of it. And even, mm -hmm. um, you know, you really shouldn't have any kind of lemony thing, but I love lemon. And so I'm doing, you know, I put the lemon on the apples because I okay. like 
having that complexity. In the French, you know, version, it's, you know, there's no other yeah. flavor apples. And actually, there's no cinnamon. So mm -hmm. that is another little situation. Okay. Okay. Um, so extra cinnamon that I put. But, um, you know, you can do whatever you want. You can play upon this in, in any way you want. <coughs> so uh, right now is the custard part. And I have three eggs. And they are room temp. They've been sitting okay. out for about an hour and a half. So we're going to put these in the bowl and whisk them well. I cannot wait to taste this. I know. I'll totally save you some. So I love custard. Whisk the eggs. And then I'm going to add um, the buttermilk, which is room temp. Um, and I have some melted butter, and that is four tablespoons. And I'm going to do two teaspoons of vanilla. Okay. So all of this is going to go together, and it's got to be, the eggs have really got to be beaten up. So I think they're looking pretty good. So here, you're, you're getting your workout before you eat the custard. <laughs> this is my workout, by the way. <laughs> Um, the other part of mentioning this to this is too, as you all know, you know, the last thing you ever want with custard is curdled eggs. So this melted butter has been sitting out. It's not hot anymore. Um, it's just, you know, melted, but it's not hot. Otherwise, guess what? You're going to have scrambled eggs. No, thanks. And, you know, you could mix the butter with the milk too, if you want to cool it down, but the milk is, you know, not cold anymore. So it's all kind of venturing into the same temperature. And then the last thing is, you know, no, no measuring, just two capsules of vanilla. <laughs> <laughs> now that's going to depend on what your cap is. <laughs> As we do. And this really smells like this is scent of absolute egg, you know, great egg custard. Okay. No extra sugar. So it's so simple. All you do is um, combine the uh, dry with the wet. We're going to combine it um, semi well, not over and not under. This isn't yeah. one of those kinds. Of and then we're just going to add the apples just enough to coat them. And then we're going to pour it all in. I'm going to save some slices for the top. And that's it. And you know. Wow. Traditionally, you can put sliced almonds on top. You could do, I mean, the, the, the sky is the limit of what you can put, what you can put on here. I mean, I thought about doing the orange chili sugar, or you could even do, like, mm -hmm. I, I love orange zest with, you know, this kind of thing, too. But yeah, too, that, that, that would work, too. Yep. So now I'm adding the dry. And, and that, the, actually, all three of the sugars would work. The, the cardamom would work, too. Uh, the vanilla cardamom would be delicious. They all mm -hmm. would. You're right. And I, I'm so happy we made these sh sugars um, with Holly. It's just been such a. They're so yeah. delicious. I feel like I can't. I feel like my whole world has changed since I've known you, Debriana. Like the maple sugar you gave me. Mm -hmm. I just made pancakes with that. Um, Isn't it crazy? Yesterday. I love maple sugar. And it was. I know. Oh it transformed the pancake. Yeah, yeah. Well, I want to try making. I I was thinking about this. It's funny you decided to do that because you know how often are we on the same wavelength? Like ninety percent of the time, I'm like, I want to try and make apple pancakes. Right. <laughs> doing the okay. same thing though, like really grating the apples so they sort of um, disappear into the custardy part or into the pancake part. And this, the thing is, is, the apples will stack and melt in this cake. Um, and some of them might stay, you know, together, but it's going to be this melty, cakey, buttery apple thing. It's so good. Okay. Uh, I'm so, so I'm gonna, um, just like that melty, cakey, buttery with I apples. Hello. Um, it's Monday and I need it. That's the reason. So um, I'm going to take out 
let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm probably going to take out ten slices to go on top. Um, and you can sprinkle the sugar on those too. I, you're, you're having a mind meld with me. That's exactly what I was going to do. Um, cause I wanted it to caramelize. Actually, I'm going to use a little bit more slices just because I want it to look kind of scalloped, you know? Okay. You're so good at decorating stuff. <laughs> I love to make fancy food. Um, <laughs> okay, so this is going in. Isn't it fun when food's pretty? Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. So, okay. So I'm just getting just enough so that stirring it enough so that the apples get covered with the batter. Uh-huh. Okay, that's yep. it. It's beautiful. Now we're gonna... how long does this bake? It's only 40 to 50 minutes. So you look, you could do this for a brunch. You could do Yeah, this for... that's what I was thinking. And that's perfect. You know, it's a great it's a great thing for any occasion, really. It's so simple. I mean, look how simple this is. And the, the result is going to be great. Okay, so now I'm pouring it in to the bread loaf. You didn't and butter then, that, that parchment at all, did you? I didn't. You could. Um, there but are, you, you don't know, have to. Four, I was just curious. The butter in here. Um, I'm just kind of making sure that the apples stack, and there are quite a few, you know, um, mm -hmm. so it should all come together. And I'll show everybody a slice of it um, okay. afterwards on Kern Golden Goose Kitchen Facebook um, post. But this is going to be good, people. Yum. Ooh. And it's just fitting together haphazardly but because i did the uniform mandolin they all are going flat and they're gonna start stack together as they bake yeah well one of our um intelligent facebook users said potato chip thin <laughs> that's right that's why they call it an invisible gâteau because the apple just like deliciously melts into this custardy thin custardy thing um, okay. Mm, oh my God. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Eat the bread. Um, Yum. Okay. So now I'm just going to scallop these apples on top and put on a dusting of sugar and put it in the oven. That's it. Yay. That, I'm like, make some bacon and that's my dinner. Yum. <laughs> oh my God. Right. That's like the perfect dinner. <laughs> I know. Bacon and apple cake. <laughs> wow, right? And you guys, it's not that sweet. So I don't I don't like these things that sweet and it's gonna be so good because it's just buttery and delicious apple and the apple already has, you know, so much sweetness. And we always over sugar in America, we over sugar everything anyway. Um but this is gonna look so good. I'm very excited. Okay. Let's see it. Can you bring it over? I think I can um, move the camera over. Or just bring the cake over to the camera. Well, I'm just gonna go like, look, I can fly it. Oh no, Ooh, I can't. Look. <laughs> look, look, I'm tethered. Hang Lisa, on. the cameraman. <laughs> oh, that looks beautiful. That looks okay, so pretty. Oh, this way. Okay, there it is. Okay. Yeah, I can see it. It looks great. Right. Right on. Thank you. Um, <laughs> it'd be really good if I were good at the camera. Uh, now I'm going to put a little bit of this uh, ginger cinnamon on there. Well, <laughs> and uh -oh. there goes the top. Um, okay. And then, Monty's yeah. right there at your side. Monty's like, what's up? Can you drop an apple? <laughs> I dropped the top of the sugar. I know this isn't sanitary to put my hands in there, but I don't care. It's okay. Well, um, family show, family show. <laughs> five second roll. Yeah, yeah, right. Okay, so that is it, peeps. Nice. That's fabulous. Well, as you all know, 
It is, um, I think after the New Hampshire primary on Tuesday, I think we officially start election season. Yay! Oh, I know. Really I'm I'm showing you a few things down below groups you can join because we're gonna have to start. We have one of our uh, favorite Corona Kitchen members, Kelly House, is out there canvassing in North Carolina already. So love you, we love you, Kelly. <laughs> Doing the Lord's work. Yes. Uh, <laughs> somebody wants to know if we'll be in investing in a drone soon. <laughs> You mean for like the kitchen? <laughs> yeah, so we can do flyovers of our kitchen. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean yeah, that'll happen. <laughs> <laughs> no, one of these days we'll get a proper show and we'll have an actual camera crew. <laughs> you know, um, that is a good intention and dream to put out there. And yes, I want to think good that for our January. <laughs> you know, what are you what are you putting out for your intentions? You know, we're definitely want to do some kind of cinematic culinary experience whether whether that's a film or a show yeah. or whatever everything we've learned here from cooking from you all you know it's just it's a lot of life lessons right yeah i mean we're in it we're in it to to cook with it that's it we love it we're in it to the end How long Woo! Do we do yeah Almost because no you always have to eat <laughs> Oh, well, I can't wait to see that cake and enjoy it. <laughs> We're going to be eating it. Now, to my night tonight is consisting of a Yahtzee tournament. I don't know if people know this about me, but like, like she's a Yahtzee is. queen. <laughs> We love Yahtzee. Morse and I are sucked in. I think we're on our 450th game. It's ridiculous. No, it's a serious, serious conversation. I haven't played that. No, no, David's going to stay. He's going to, even if he's not doing the camera. <laughs> We're keeping him. <laughs> oh, God. Good. He's a keeper. Yep. He's a keeper. Thanks, you guys. <laughs> Thanks, Make everybody, for watching. Post it. Thanks so much for supporting us and the book. And yeah. everything. We really appreciate you. We'll let you know. We we are almost almost to the dates of uh, the East Coast tour. So we'll let you know next week. Yes. Yes. We're so close. Anyway, yeah. it's exciting. Yay. Well, well, we'll see you next week.